The Amazon rainforest, a place teeming with life, holds secrets within its emerald embrace. This vast expanse of greenery is not just a sanctuary for countless species, but also a realm where the line between beauty and danger is often blurred. It's a world of vibrant beauty, but also of lurking danger. Every rustle in the leaves, every ripple in the water, could signify either a harmless creature or a deadly predator. Deep in the heart of the rainforest a lone fisherman navigated the labyrinthine waterways. His seasoned hands guided the canoe with practiced ease, each stroke of the paddle a testament to years spent on these treacherous waters. The air hung heavy with humidity, the silence broken only by the calls of exotic birds, and the gentle lapping of water against his wooden canoe. The dense canopy above filtered the sunlight, casting dappled shadows on the water's surface. Little did he know, a silent predator was watching him from the murky depths. The stillness of the water belied the presence of a creature that had perfected the art of ambush over millennia. Suddenly, the canoe lurched violently, throwing the fisherman off balance. His heart raced as he struggled to regain control, the sudden movement sending ripples across the once calm water. Before he could react, a massive muscular form exploded from the water, jaws agape, revealing rows of razor-sharp teeth. The sheer size and power of the creature were enough to strike fear into the bravest of hearts. It was a green anaconda, the largest snake in the world, and it had chosen him as its prey. This apex predator, capable of taking down animals much larger than itself, had set its sights on the fisherman. The anaconda's strike was lightning fast, its powerful body coiling around the fisherman, squeezing the air from his lungs. The pressure was immense, each coil tightening with relentless force. The fisherman, however, was a man of remarkable strength and resilience. Years of battling the elements had honed his instincts and fortified his spirit. He fought back with every ounce of his being, his hands desperately searching for anything to use as a weapon. His mind raced, recalling every survival tactic he had learned over the years. As the monstrous serpent tightened its grip, the fisherman managed to grab a small, sharp knife he used for scaling fish. The blade, though small, was his only hope against the formidable predator. With a surge of adrenaline, he plunged the blade into the anaconda's thick hide. The knife met resistance but his determination drove it deeper. The effect was immediate. The anaconda, surprised by the sudden pain, loosened its grip slightly. The fisherman could feel the coils slacken, a small but crucial reprieve. The fisherman seized his chance and with a final desperate heave, wrenched himself free from the serpent's coils. His lungs burned as he gasped for air, the taste of freedom sweeter than ever. He scrambled back into his canoe, his heart pounding in his chest, leaving behind a trail of blood in the water. Each breath was a victory, each heartbeat a reminder of his narrow escape. The anaconda, wounded but alive, retreated back into the murky depths, a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurked beneath the surface of the seemingly tranquil Amazonian waters. The fisherman knew that this encounter was a stark testament to the untamed wildness of the rainforest, a place where survival was a daily battle. The Pantanal, a vast floodplain spanning parts of Brazil, Bolivia and Paraguay, is a paradise for wildlife enthusiasts. This sprawling wetland, one of the largest in the world, is a mosaic of rivers, lakes and marshes that teem with life. Its lush vegetation and abundant water sources provide a haven for a staggering array of species, including the elusive jaguar, which prowls silently through the dense underbrush, the playful giant river otter, often seen frolicking in the waterways with its family, and the magnificent green anaconda, a creature of immense power and grace. But this idyllic landscape also harbors hidden dangers, and the anaconda, the silent predator of the Pantanal, is a master of disguise. Its ability to blend seamlessly into its surroundings makes it a formidable hunter. Local fishermen in this region have long whispered tales of encounters with these giant serpents. Their stories, passed down through generations, speak of the anaconda's stealth and strength. Unlike the Amazonian fisherman's story of a sudden violent attack, encounters in the Pantanal are often characterized by a chilling stealth. The anaconda's approach is almost ghostly, a silent shadow beneath the water. Anacondas here are known to lie in wait beneath the surface of the water, their bodies perfectly camouflaged against the muddy bottom. They are patient predators, capable of waiting hours, even days, for the perfect moment to strike. They can remain submerged for long periods, their nostrils positioned atop their heads, allowing them to breathe while remaining almost invisible. This adaptation makes them nearly undetectable to both prey and potential threats. 
One such encounter involved a group of biologists conducting research on the Pantanal's Cayman population. These scientists were well versed in the behaviors of the region's wildlife. They were wading through a shallow lagoon, their attention focused on observing the caimans basking in the sun on the banks. The caimans, with their prehistoric appearance, were a familiar sight to the researchers. The biologists were experienced researchers, accustomed to the presence of large reptiles. They had spent countless hours in the field, studying the intricate dynamics of the Pantanal ecosystem. However, they were completely unaware of the danger lurking beneath their feet. The murky waters concealed the presence of a massive anaconda, lying in wait. As one of the biologists stepped forward, his foot brushed against something solid and unyielding. The sensation was unexpected, causing him to pause. He looked down, expecting to see a submerged log or perhaps a large rock. The muddy water made it difficult to see clearly, but he could make out a shape beneath the surface. Instead, he was met with the chilling sight of an anaconda's head, its cold reptilian eyes staring back at him. The realization of what he was seeing sent a jolt of fear through him. The biologist froze, his heart pounding in his chest. The sheer size of the anaconda was overwhelming and he knew that any sudden movement could provoke an attack. The anaconda remained motionless, its massive body coiled beneath the water, waiting for the opportune moment to strike. The tension in the air was palpable, a silent standoff between man and beast. Moving away from the vastness of the Amazon and Pantanal, anaconda encounters are not limited to these iconic locations. Even in the more populated areas of South America, where humans and wildlife often coexist in a delicate balance, the threat of an anaconda attack, though rare, remains a chilling possibility. In a small village nestled along the banks of a tributary of the Amazon River, a group of children were playing by the water's edge. The sun was setting, casting a warm glow over the village, and the children's laughter echoed through the air. They were oblivious to the danger that lurked just beneath the surface of the water, hidden among the tangled roots of a towering fig tree. One of the children, a young girl named Maria, wandered a bit further down the riverbank. She was captivated by a cluster of brightly colored butterflies flitting among the reeds. As she leaned forward to get a closer look, she lost her footing and tumbled into the shallow water. Startled but unharmed, Maria tried to scramble back to the bank, but before she could react, she felt a vice-like grip on her leg. Panic surged through Maria as she realized she was trapped. An anaconda, its powerful body hidden among the roots of the fig tree, had been lying in wait, patiently waiting for an opportunity to strike. The snake's grip tightened, its cold scaly skin sending shivers down Maria's spine. She screamed for help, her voice filled with terror. Her friends, alerted by her screams, turned to see their friend in the clutches of a giant serpent. For wildlife photographers, the pursuit of the perfect shot is a constant allure. It's a calling that drives them to the ends of the earth, to places where few dare to tread. They venture into the wildest corners of the planet, seeking to capture the raw beauty and untamed spirit of nature's most elusive creatures. These photographers often find themselves in remote, untouched landscapes where the natural world remains as it has for millennia. But this passion comes with inherent risks especially when your subject is a creature as powerful and unpredictable as the anaconda. The anaconda, with its immense size and strength, is a formidable subject, one that commands both respect and caution. Renowned wildlife photographer Mark Henderson dedicated his life to documenting the world's most fascinating reptiles. His work has been featured in countless magazines and documentaries, earning him a reputation as one of the best in his field. He had traveled the globe, photographing venomous cobras, massive saltwater crocodiles, and even the elusive king cobra. Each encounter added to his extensive portfolio and deepened his understanding of these incredible creatures. But his ultimate goal was to capture the green anaconda, the largest snake in the world, in its natural habitat. This was the pinnacle of his career, a challenge that had eluded him for years. Mark's quest led him to the heart of the Amazon rainforest, where he spent months trekking through dense jungles and navigating treacherous waterways. The Amazon, with its vast and often impenetrable terrain, presented a formidable challenge. He was accompanied by a team of experienced local guides, their knowledge of the rainforest proving invaluable in their search for the elusive serpent. These guides, with their intimate understanding of the land and its inhabitants, were crucial to the success of the expedition. 
Finally, after weeks of searching, they found it. The moment was electric, a culmination of tireless effort and unwavering determination. An anaconda of incredible size, its body thicker than a man's torso, was basking on a fallen log near the water's edge. The sheer size and presence of the snake were awe-inspiring, a testament to the raw power of nature. It was a photographer's dream, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to capture the magnificence of this apex predator. Mark knew that this was the moment he had been waiting for, the shot that would define his career. Mark approached cautiously, his camera clicking furiously as he tried to capture every angle of the magnificent creature. Each shot was a delicate balance of art and science, capturing the essence of the anaconda while maintaining a safe distance. But as he moved closer, his focus entirely on getting the perfect shot, he failed to notice the log shift beneath his feet. In his pursuit of the perfect image, he had momentarily forgotten the unpredictable nature of the wild. The sudden movement startled the anaconda and in the blink of an eye it launched itself at Mark. The speed and ferocity of the attack were shocking, a stark reminder of the dangers inherent in wildlife photography. He had nowhere to go. The dense jungle and the proximity of the water left him with no escape route. The anaconda's massive coils wrapped around him, squeezing the air from his lungs, its powerful muscles threatening to crush his bones. The strength of the snake was overwhelming, a force of nature that was impossible to resist. Mark's camera fell to the ground, the lens cracking as it hit the forest floor. The sound of the breaking glass was a harsh contrast to the silence of the jungle. His last conscious thought was a chilling realization. He had become the prey. In that moment, the roles had reversed, and the hunter had become the hunted.